Good morning, folks. Welcome to another week of disaster streams bought by yours truly. Uh, today's Dragon Quest Day, so we're going to be continuing Dragon Quest Eight. As soon as I figure out where the fuck I need to go. Because <laughs> the game kind of gave me a bit of a crumb, and I've consumed said crumb. And now I'm just kind of like, huh, don't know. Anyway, we're playing that today. Uh, before we begin, though, I am still fundraising for the LGBTQ Freedom Fund. Give me a sec here. Which helps pay bail to secure the safety and liberty of individuals in jail and immigration detention. They also work to address the disproportionately high rate and harm of jailing on LGBTQ individuals, which is a tangle of discrimination and poverty. Because... Being being LGBTQ is uh, something society doesn't exactly enjoy, so it's very against us, especially in the prison, industrial prison complex and all that stuff, so, so these guys try to help with that, so if you'd like to help them, or donate to them rather, well, kind of both, um, I have a button below my stream, I also have a chat command, exhibition point donate, and I have a the, just I have the chatbot sharing that command every thirty minutes. So, and I have a QR code that will be on screen once the stream goes more more fully live. I guess <laughs> then you can scan with your phone or iPad or whatever and donate that way as well. Any way you choose to help is greatly appreciated. All right, let's see. Oh, I'm a damn fool. I don't even have my headset on. What is wrong with me? <laughs> it's one of those mornings. Let's 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 start let's start this all over again. <laughs> uh, give me a second to make sure my uh, okay, it's they're still set. Sometimes I have it to where if my headset is not turned on when I open OBS, like everything just gets sent, all the configs get sent to straight to hell, and it's not very fun. So I try to like not mess up like that, but I guess today is just. Just one of those days. Come on. Cup, cup. Game. Come on. Please display on my fucking stream. We've been doing this for like 13, 12 weeks now. Uh, Jesus Christ, fine. <laughs> Whatever. I used to start screaming into the void. I normally do that, but now... <laughs> Thank you. 
Alright. It's not story related, but we are going to, um... Go back to, we're going to go back to the dungeon we cleared last stream, except in the World of Light, and get all the loot there, because I guess there's a very uh, powerful, there's some really good stuff in there. Let's see what this is, see if there's anything here, because I don't know if this is an island we really had a good opportunity to get to. Don't know the power level of this guy, so we're just gonna pretend like they're a normal enemy. They are... Well, they can take that hit, at least. worth our time. Unless the enemies here are ridiculously hard, we're gonna go be going through the entirety of this dungeon. Cause there's supposed to be some good stuff in here. Uh, these aren't that bad. I think these these guys are just like outside in the anyway. So.
Yeah, that's not bad. I love their ridiculous donkey. <laughs> So that way it was a bust. Since these enemies aren't entirely uh, exciting, we use total protection to see if that reduces the spawn rates a little bit. If not, fine, we'll just continue as normal. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I mean, now you're acting like the enemies outside are just like super easy, but they're a little uh, more um, interesting than some of the, the previous enemies. Not by much, but definitely by enough. Yeah, the demonic <laughs> horny. Yeah, the, the demonic thunder folks are immune to boom and shining shot, so they're kind of just annoying to deal with. Now I can use shining shot. Probably just kaboom again. Alright, well. A lot of XP that battle. Oh, sweet. Level up. Took to me trees. Very low MP, which I wish you'd gain more, but. It becomes a hot night. Learns angel eyes. Great. Good for good for you, bud. <laughs> Level up. Kafrizzle. Finally, I was wondering what she'd learn. Kafrizzle. Well, now she's gonna be dropping big fatty, big fatty balls on people. Big steaming orbs. Oh, there's a mini metal. 
Okay, so we need to go down and go up that way. MP just to, to blast a single enemy with concentrated fire. Alright. Kind of like this like, battle plan is hit everything with kaboom until it's dead. Uchi Macho drops a treasure chest. Strong. Eh. Not as uh, nice of a drop as I was expecting. trying to get down from this cliff here. <laughs> if anything, I kind of prefer the, um... Okay, it is this way. I kind of prefer the other enemy group from the Dark World because they don't have these Thunderer guys <laughs> that are immune to my two best spells. Like a crackle might work though. That's an also an AO, uh, a hit all spell. I don't know how well it's gonna do, but. Eh, good enough. Ow. Rude. It's not very nice. Tyrant. Tyr Tyrantosaurus. <laughs> God. Just realized the pun. Was that one MP? Good job, Angela. One entire MP. I frequently use uh, too much MP with Mobis anyway, so I might as well use them for the heals. Stone Golem, so I didn't even know those loved here. Demonic Thunderer dudes are in battle, I kind of have to pay attention to them. Alright, they've been paid attention to. <laughs> I 
I just want I just want to see what the frizzle looks like. <clears throat> Nice. <laughs> oh Jesus. All right, that that works pretty good. That's like fifty percent more damage almost than like maybe maybe not fifty percent, but that's still a pretty nice chunk more damage than the previous tier. Expecting a one round then, but hey, we'll take what we get. And this has the what the place where that uh chest is kind of like in its own little zone. Killer Krogers! <laughs> oh, they're very green or blue or something. I don't know my colors. Don't judge me. Turn the back fuck back around. Okay, never mind, die. <laughs> I was wasn't expecting to uh, be dead already. Alright, well. That's a simple fight at least. Pretty sure I didn't. I might not have even gone this way last time. Let's find out. This might have left led to that like solitary single chest. Yeah, it did. And I never got that in the last dungeon, so we're gonna get it this time. are very threatening so we probably just gotta take our time against them I mean this is annoying and chow oh well guess they're dead anyway Our HP is fine. But what do we have here? A mini metal. Not useless. Alright, now we go the other way. high enough level to have that actually like have a, a super tangible effect but that's fine let's just do boom it's like half the MP let's 
still pretty okay damage anyway. Seven, nice. Oh, seriously, you're gonna leave me like one skill point away from maxing boomerangs? Whatever. Learn za- ooh, all right. You have my attention. I can imagine the uh, Thunder dudes are gonna be immune to that anyway, but hey, it's gonna be interesting to see how much, it's like the first like, new spell that they've gotten in quite some time. Muchos ma machos. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's a word. Uh, how much does zap even cost? Six? Sure, let's see what it looks like. Drink some coffee. Oh, okay, so it's basically the, uh, calls down terrible. Oh! <laughs> Get that dumpy out of here! Let's use this battle to get up a bit more MP for our folks. Angel gets his MP back by murder, and um, funny enough, uh, Jessica gets it back by just kind of sitting around waiting. Ah, oh, here we go. Gold nugget, huh? I think that might have been what the. No, that wasn't the loot from last time. Anyway. Oh, with the little god bird we have access to now, it'd be really it's gonna be really easy to get back to the slime island if I wanna grind up some XP there. That damn it, I didn't want to go back. Okay, this, this room is a freebie because we already been to the uh, bottom half, so. Let's meander around.
interesting. These enemies seem like they're in the wrong place. lower in power level than most of the other ones. <clears throat> Fine by me, I can use them as an excuse to get some MP back. Oh. Gotta go down the very small lip. <laughs> Let's, uh, I don't think I can access either of the ramps from here, so I gotta go under the little, under the little bridge here. We'll go up this way and I'll kind of peek around, see if, uh, I don't think there's anything in this, uh, cubby hole down there, but I might go check anyway. Admiration, huh? Heart eyes, motherfucker. Yeah, that does very little. <laughs> These guys aren't extremely dangerous, so... They're just kind of annoyingly uh, immune to... Uh, like, my best stuff. I've always defended her. If we get another turn of MP gain for her, then so be it, but we're probably not going to with uh, this, yeah. Oh, maybe. Oh, never mind. <laughs> uh. Okay, fine, I'll go look at the, the little uh, area back here. Perhaps there's a chest that's like out of view. Never mind, there's nothing here. Thought there was a little more to it than that. Alright. I don't know if that's even doing anything, but I, I, I at least try to use it. Alright. First, we'll go this way. I say as I go the wrong way. Oh, it's here. It can be a little hard to, to discern between different uh, paths. Yeah, we'll just defend with Jessica. She doesn't really need to do anything. When fighting these guys, they're not very uh, scary. They'll probably be dead next round anyway. <clears throat> Yeah. 
<clears throat> Almost certainly. Yep. Alright, HP. Uh, we'll do a multi heal. There we go. Well, now Angelo's MP is almost full again, so we can kind of just fight things, I guess. Ah, this is the one with the chest, okay. Dragon Dung. Mm -mm -mm. How delightful. <clears throat> Alright, so now we go up and around. This way. Still doesn't need to really do anything. Oh, that's annoying. Did not did not know they could do dazzle. It's been a. They usually do their their normal attack. Or they do lightning, or they do the curse. This might not hit very many. Yeah, I, it, it didn't, actually. <laughs> well, this might be annoying. It's kind of ruined my plans a little bit, honestly. Oh, wait, Yangus isn't. Well, Yangus was dazzled, I think. It's like, let's see, wait, Yangus, you're not dazzled. I don't think Dazzled is as permanent in this DQ as it is in others. Because in others it usually lasts for like several turns and it's kind of obnoxious. Well, in that case, let's, um... Let... Just come on, just help a little bit, I guess. Oh, I suppose. <laughs> I like the splat noise they make when they die. <laughs> yeah, that wasn't a surprise, really. These were a little scarier to fight. This would be bad, but it's Angel is full MP now. Yeah, just um, just send them, send them to the heavens, I guess. All right, cool. Good talk. They tried very hard. I will give them that. They tried extremely hard to do something, and... An attempt was made. Oh. Did the, uh... The thingy not, uh... Play? Huh, give me a sec. Uh, let me, uh... Yeah, it looks like a minute. Looks like yeah, it was like a minute ago. Uh, let me make sure that everything's working, cause it's hard to tell sometimes when this thing wants to actually work. So let's uh. Oh god damn it! It's gonna be like this. Um. Yeah, it, it might it it might be down for the count. Oh wait, you okay? Yeah, it's it plays on y'all's end, but not mine. <laughs> That's okay. 
Um, it'll probably fix itself whenever I, um... I think I'd have to, like, close OBS and stuff, and that's not really a thing you can do when you're midstream. But, as long as it works for y'all, that's fine by me. I mean, it's not as fun when I get jump scared by Doot or whatever, but... I mean, <laughs> kind of have to deal with what we got. Oh, there's actual bird feathers here. We do what you gotta do. How are you doing this morning, Nekora? My friend. Oh, let's go this way first, I guess. We're in the light world version of this dungeon now. Getting some goodies. Or trying to. Bloody hand! I almost just said, yelled bloody howling from Tales of. <laughs> bloody howling! Meow meow fight me. Well, that's unfortunate. That's that's like your very cat thing to do. Thing's also immune to light. That's annoying. I'll have to keep that in mind if I see another one of those. That's the only one of those I've seen yet. <laughs> Leather hat. Wow. My cup overrunneth, Lord. Uh, multi heal. From what I've been told, there's Orichalcum in this place, so we kind of need it. For um, maybe making some good stuff. Although, I don't know, this kind of seems like the way forward. It's going a little high. Yeah, we need to go the other way if we want to get that treasure chest, which may, which might not be the um... bloody hands. Don't notice the present, your presence. Oh, that's unfortunate for them. A free MP heal. Honestly, yeah, I just. You have a friend, huh?
Yeah, I could have killed them whenever I wanted. <laughs> I was trying to get a little bit more MP for Jessica. Um. Yeah, we'll just go back up this way and then we'll come back for that chest. The thing that's also a chest I didn't get, um... Okay, yeah, there's nothing up here. This is where we had the, the god bird egg at in the dark world, so... We can go back down and get this chest and then that'll be the end of the dungeon, which means that probably should be the Aura Chalcum in that case. Give me one moment. I'm gonna mute my mic and I'm gonna go. I'm gonna use the restroom. I'll be right back. Alright, I am back. Thank you for your patience. <sighs> Damn, Yangus is 400 HP. Jesus Christ. Dude's corn fed as fuck. Tyrantosaurus is. Oh, they don't. Oh, you don't notice us, huh? Well. Alright.
I love how they use their have those little ass arms and a big ass axe. <laughs> How'd that one die? It was taking less damage than the other one. Weird. It's a little hard to tell where to go sometimes. Because everything's just kind of like a brown mush. <laughs> Donkey! You know what? Multi heal, go. I got I got plenty of MP left and like one more chest to get in this fucking place, so I don't really care. We also learned Kafrizzle, so let's see that. It's pretty fun. Yeah, that does pretty good damage. It's really annoying because he's. These, those bloody hands were in two separate groups of two. Whoosh! Just using like the, the weakest spells I can think of. <laughs> Devil's Tail. Well, I mean, I guess it makes sense. It's like literally on their ass. <sighs> oh wow! There's a there's a few guys here. And uh, three of them are immune to light, so shining shots not gonna do any good. And Angelo doesn't, uh, otherwise does not have another different AO hit all move. That's not light. Jessica does, thankfully. Could crack will hit all enemies. Huh. Ow. 
Yeah, that's kind of, that's kind of the, the scary thing about these Grim Riders is that if they get lucky, they can just hit all four of their multi-thrust sets on one enemy, or, or one party member, rather. Might as well just multi-heal with you. That was a lot of dudes. A lot of annoying dudes. Not hard, just kind of annoying. Alright, this should be the Aura Chalcum then, in that case. Yup, there it is. Alright, we have no other reason to be in here anymore, so let's uh, evac. Alright, walk through, tell me your secrets. Where was the. Here we go. Okay, I just uh, was was told by the walkthrough of a uh, place where I can get a better boomerang for old boy. So let's get in the burb. Uh, hell west of Argonia. Well, it's nice to see that Slime Island actually shows up on, uh... Let's see if there's anything up here on Slime Island. On, like, the higher parts. It's not gonna, it's not gonna show me anything up there, is it? Yeah, these enemies are not nearly as uh, problematic as they once were. Because I have Kaboom now. For one. Excuse me, of course, there's not a map there's not a map for here. Yeah, let's just move this to the very front spot of our thing, because we're gonna be using it often. I guess I could only get two if I had the bird. Oh! Treasure! Oh, there's a mini metal, alright. You got any other treasures for me? 
Oh, hey, oh, hello, gold golems. <laughs> Didn't notice you there. Interesting uh, place for you to live, <laughs> I guess. These are the enemies from the last place we were at, but there was also, also gold golems on the, the loot table, or the counter table, so. Neat. All right, yeah, let's do, let's do a shining shot just to get these enemies the fuck out of here. Excuse me, how are, how is everyone faster than goddamn Jessica at this point? Whatever. Speed is weird in Dragon Quest. If you want gold and XP, this seems like a pretty hard place to be. Well, I'm just kind of just seeing what's up here. Why is there like a red star there? Does that show my location now? Because I'm a star? Well, let me look at the, um... Oh, there is something else up here. Okay, so yeah, we definitely want to make sure we get what's up here because there's an item called the Ogre Shield, which I think is a pretty good shield from what I remember from Dragon Quest prior. I'm a star! <laughs> I finally made it to the big time. I'm a star. <laughs> That chest over there, that's where the mini metal was. Hmm. So perhaps higher up I can go over here? I think so. Oh, 
Gold golems! Don't really mind them. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, hello. I was wondering if, I, if there was a hand that did that in this game. Because in Dragon Quest 3, there are bloody hands or like whatever they're called, that can summon uh, statue enemies that are like really strong for when you first find them and can drop a really good sword if you can get lucky and kill them. Oh, they can summon more than one thing. That's interesting. Oh, I bet you're from the final area, huh? 78 damage? Yeah, they're pretty strong. Kill! <laughs> Alright, when you absolutely positively need to make sure it's dead. Nuke it from orbit. Okay, it's not dead. <laughs> Jesus Christ, you are thick. You are thicker than a snicker. Here, have another. <laughs> Never mind. Whee! Down he goes. There's the chest. Ogre shield, let's see. I don't think that's cursed. A massive shield that reduces the, the damage from fire and ice based attacks by 10 points. It's very good for you. But Yangus has a dragon shield already anyway. And this is even better than that. Alright. Next fly place, because we're... I have a feeling this is kind of like the tail end of the game. When, when we're getting this fly ability, we're getting all this really cool stuff. Okay, I'm trying to like orient myself where I can recognize where this fly point, fly, the spot to drop off is. Hmm. Let's see. There's a bunch of little trees. Mostly because I want this boomerang. It's a really good boomerang. It is kind of fun just to fly around, though. That's Argonia. Um... Hmm. 
kind of wish they showed like a place on the map where this was, like a like a little X or something. Because it's a little hard to kind of figure out where exactly this is. Which I guess is why they hid things like this. Hmm. No X's for you. On the contrary, I have a few. <laughs> There are, I have a few X's, but that's not here, neither here nor there. Okay, that's a, that spring. Ooh, maybe it's here? This looks kind of like a place that maybe it would be. I mean, this looks pretty secluded to me. Oh yeah, there's no way in hell we'd be getting up here otherwise. So yeah, this might be the place. Yep, probably. <laughs> these like, these guys are here too. They probably just gave all these like high up places the same encounter table since it's kind of like roughly where you'd be in the game anyway. It's like, oh, you guys again? We can't keep meeting like this. demon oh yeah I forgot boom is also technically a thunder element or light element or whatever so they are um, immune to that too how obnoxious I'm done thinking no more thinking just dead no, more, no thoughts, head empty, go. Ah, I see a box. Go, let's go for it. Is this the flame tang boomerang? I'll. <laughs> that is a fun word to say. Flame tang boomerang. That's fun. Uh, so let's see. Hopefully this is it. I found it. Yes. All right. That may be like the best or one of the best boomerangs for. Uh... Uh, it's a, it's a bit of an upgrade. Much needed attack boost, cause yeah. All right, we're next. Um, oh game of oh game. I already got the stuff east of Fairbury, cause I kind of just stopped there accidentally. Oh wait, no, Fair the Fairbury one's slightly different. First and foremost, though, let's uh, go rest up. We went through that one big ass dungeon without having to stop to heal, like to leave and heal or whatever. <clears throat> where's the, where's the end in this shithole? <laughs> That's not very nice of me to call this place a shithole. It's a I'm sure this is a very nice town. I say as I walk by the, the, the house that's burnt to the ground. <laughs> oh, 
12 gold coins. Hard to beat that, that rate. But their beds are awful. <laughs> Just like talking shit about this town the entire time I walk through. It's like, oh, you guys fucking suck. Later. I'm gonna leave a bad Yelp review. <laughs> Well, there's uh, only so many places I can really, um, find that are, um, This might be the place. Oh, shit. I pressed the wrong button. It's very possible this is, in fact, the place I need to be. Property destruction. Oh, many metal. Oh, interest relief. Okay, that's literally the only reason to be here is... Well, let's see what lives here. I'm sure it's still the same weird demon friends, but... <laughs> oh, it's slightly different things. I think this might be the encounter table from uh, around um, Pichu. Well, now that I restored my MP, I don't really have to care about using it. Jeez, finally. Um, yes. <laughs> you uh, you can have a nap. What's up here? This is just like a little fancy little bridge. Monster. Just a big old bee. Yeah, absolutely. No problem. <laughs> oh, why is there like three different groups of you? Oh, well, we're gonna get rid of y'all, y'all, very quickly. As long as Jessica gets her turn eventually. Jesus Christ. Friendly? Uh, oh, I guess you are friendly, huh? Uh, interesting. Hello. That Elysium bird over there can't resist anything shiny. She buries everything she collects in the sand. 
What's up, Burb? What are you doing? A human used to live here before. A human so pure and good that even we monsters took a shine to him. You're the first humans I've seen here since his death. Well. Interesting. We've got friendly monsters. Doesn't happen very often in Dra I mean, it happens often enough in Dragon Quest for it to be like a thing, but like... These ones are just kind of vibing. Uh, are we allowed to go in his little... his home? Now dug in by these guys. Kaboom, and the stains are gone! They might survive this turn. One of them did. That's a little annoying. At the end of the world, though. Get a little bit of MP back. Sarah, Sarah, at least. Not that it matters, we can literally just zoom and heal our MP. What does this say? My name is Egeus. There was once a there was once a time when people would call me the child of the goddess. But I have come to realize I am a mere human child, weak and delicate like any other. After the war of darkness was sealed away, I sacrificed my life that others might live. Here I record my final prophecy. I pray that it will be seen by the eyes of the righteous. As I gaze into the future, I foresee a period of darkness, a time that is shrouded in mist. A time when the Lord Darkness Raptor may once again terrorize the world. But we should not lose heart, for our bloodlines will still live on. The time comes, there will be a living heir for each of us. The heir of the great warrior, Golding, will be living with his two adopted children, surrounded by the, joys, the, vo the voices of joyous people. The heir of the sorceress, Master Gozo, will be carrying on a tradition, teaching magic in a town near the castle where the scepter is sealed away. Ah! Fairbury, where, um, that guy's house is burned down that we're just talking shit about. No living heir for my bloodline. My bloodline dies with me. <laughs> the heir of the great magician, Koopas, will be living with the, mon with the monsters deep in the forest, having abandoned his life of magic. The blood of the magical swordsman, Alexander, will be transferred to another family, and his heir will be re renowned across the land. The heir of the great scholar, Kadan, will be living an honest life deep in the snowy mountains, preserving the legend of the godbird. The heir of Ragnar, returned to the world of men from heaven, be the keeper of the faith for countless souls. That's the abbot that got killed. And finally, my own heir will be living a content life as the leader of a group of monk of a group of many monks. For the guys that our children will abide by these words. Well, that's cool. These monsters have just been kind of like hanging out here. With this one, with, the, with this dude. All right, so we got the stuff loot there. We got the stuff north of Pickham. We got stuff there. We got stuff there, and north of Arcadia. That's where we're going next. There's a con it's, wait, there's a Conqueror's Axe, and it says this is one of the best leveling locations in the game, which also has my interest. There's Trodane Castle.
pretty sure Arcadia is like this kind of like cross section area around here somewhere. If I can, re if I can reorient my my dang ding dang uh, deal, my ding dang deal. <laughs> I will just slowly fly until I can figure out where this is. I think I figured out where it is. It's probably this. Yeah, it's it's absolutely this spot right here. There's like no way it's not. Well, let's find out if I landed near the chest. Alright, she's fine. Unless I find uh, something uh, particularly vile up here. Oh, hello! Well, y'all are pleasant, but probably not very difficult. Yeah, I think these are pretty low power. All things considered. Um. I mean, they can still do damage, I suppose. If you come for the king, you better not miss! Yeah, no reason to really spend an EMP on these. They're not very strong. They are, del they are delightful, and I love them, but yeah. You have that? Huh. I mean, King Slimes are pretty goo. <laughs> what else you guys? Am I just stuck on this hill? Oh no, well that's weird. That's an an or unorthodox way to Get up and down and around. Uh, let's see. King Cure Slime. Oh, this is Slime Hill. Okay. Ah, uh, now I get it. All right, gotcha. There's a place like this in Dragon Quest Nine as well. Which, like, all the slimes in the game live up here, including some like m metal slimes that you just can't find anywhere else, except for maybe like post game or something, but. Oh, sorry, not sorry. Time to die. Pew! Perhaps those aren't like the best um, XP, but I'm sure there's like metal slimes that live around here somewhere as well. Okay, no secret little chests lying around there. Perhaps I'll check out that bridge first, because that seems to lead down the hill. Alright, we're gonna just, uh... Oh, come on. Seriously. Y'all, y'all bastards. <laughs> I was trying to let you live. Wait, how are you alive? Cause Swoosh does like inconsistent damage to- it doesn't like do the same damage to all enemies, like it just kind of rolls them separately, which is kind of weird. Yeah, I'll check up here to make sure there's not a chest up here before I head down. Bubble slimes? I haven't seen them in a long ass time. <laughs> we'll probably just use literal just bang on them.
Never mind. Okay, fine. One gets hit with bang. I don't really mind roaming around here, cause it's like, well... <laughs> There's just so many slimes. Ah, <laughs> uh, polite. Because there's just nothing on this little pedestal here. <laughs> just the wild, the wild swing just juxtaposition of there being like a, a level, uh, an area of one slime, and then the king cure slime is just funny to me. I suppose I'll use kaboom. Camera, please. <laughs> oh, hey, there's some metal slimes. Good job. Oh, there's also the she slimes. I don't know if I've even seen them. Oh, I'm sure I have. Certainly. I might as well give it a shot. Uh. Have you used bang to just kind of clear out the... No, I hit one of them. <laughs> I mean, metal slimes aren't much XP, so... It's not really, probably not even really worth using MP on, but... One's dead. Oh, <laughs> all right. <clears throat> it's at least interesting to fight these because, like, they could just run away at any time. If they really feel like it, it's kind of just up to them what they want to do. Oh, come on, really? All right, fine. We got him. That's still pretty good experience, all things considered. That's way more than you'd get in a normal battle anyway. So I don't know why I'm really complaining. I'm not really complaining, but it's just like... They're like the lowest tier of Metal Slime by far. Maybe we'll find some Liquid Metals up here as well. That would be pretty sweet. Alright, let's go across this bridge now. Oh, hey, some more Metal Slimes.
they're just such cheerful little fan, cheerful little dudes. Okay, we got something out of that fight at least. Yeah, that's like almost as much XP as I'd be getting from some of those like kind of like early end game enemies. <laughs> so it's just kind of funny how they give even the little guys give just so much more XP. Okay, there's another hole. Good thing is I can mostly just use like kind of throwaway spells here. Cuz every almost never, nothing up here is very dangerous. Nothing around here. I feel like the other Slime Island so far has been more impressive to me. Everything that's not the middle slime. Just gleefully staring at me. Alright, well, not anymore. <laughs> gleefully dead. A cute little waterfall. Oh, hello! You are interesting. If we can kill one of you, we're we get some good XP. I'll tell you what. Woo! Getting all hot and bothered now. That's why this is one of the best leveling places in the game. Okay. All right. Uh, I have really. Ain't. I don't know if the beam that sows destruction. And confusion. Pelvic punishment. <laughs> Equal big damage. Um... Oh, well, that one stuck around. That one didn't, but. Oh, come on. The only chance we're gonna really have of killing him is, is... Oh well, is this? Because it's either a, it's a 50/50, which is much better odds than normal. Yeah, there's not any point of us doing anything but executioner, because this thing's probably got like 10 HP anyway. Which is your know, haha 10 HP. Oh god, we killed one. How much XP is this gonna be? Holy fuck. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> Alright, I'm game. 30k per kill. Alright, um. I 
When Manny increases, he becomes sentimental. Earns War Cry. So he can now just yell at people. I think, I think, I think at a hundred you do actually get Metallica or something. Boomerang skills improves and becomes a, a, a King Boomeranger, the highest level attainable. Giga Throw. Never mind, I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, becomes fearless, can now cast spells with three fourths of the mana. Ooh, that's actually really good. That's gonna make Mavis a really good uh, healer. Cause things just cost way less now. Eight skill points. I mean, we're getting to the point where everyone's almost got their primary thing maxed out, so we can start putting stuff into other things. Max HP increase by twelve six. Blah blah blah. Eight skill points. Like I don't know what I'm gonna put her stuff in after this. Maybe uh, knives. I don't know. Cause snooze. Kind of weird that she didn't like know that already. I don't know if this maybe this certain spot has the king slimes, but that's where I found them. So if I just like whistle there, maybe I'll find a bunch of them. Or maybe this like particular part has has more of them. Or maybe it's just random. Who knows? I have no idea. Now, as far as, um... Uh, what was I? Oh, Sarah, Sarah. I was like, wait, what am I doing here? As far as other skills go for hero, I'll probably... I, uh, courage is where most of the points are going, because that's going to be really good stuff to have. I give it to like, probably Omni Heal or uh, Multi Heal, which would be really nice to have another person with that. But we are just like going through the like, the, 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 the the gauntlet to get this Conqueror's Axe. It better be good. I mean, we found a King Metal Slime. Can't really complain. See how good you are, Conqueror's Axes. There's only one person that can the world's strongest axe once win by a barbarian king. Alright. Oh, that's a pretty nice boost. Alright, thank you. Thank you. Well, the only other, it looks kind of fucking sick too. Looks like it has like a face that's like Rawr. Well, um, other than level grinding, there's not really any other reason to really be up here. Uh, no, no. Okay. All right. So let me go back there. And so the last place we're gonna be going to on the flying for our flying tour. This is gonna be the uh, the dark altar uh, island. I guess there's some pl places up there with some good uh, recipes and whatnot.
Oh, I missed it. <laughs> I was flying too fast. Here's the Dark Island place. Uh, I suppose we'll just kind of land up. We'll land up here. Let's see. don't think we um, picked the right spot. To land. Like, we're on the right island, but not the right spot on the island, I guess. A little burb always points south because that's kind of where his home is. Uh, let's try landing here. It's not. It's not. Let, it's not letting me press the button to land there. from another angle. Trying to figure out what angle they came from with this one. They're, they're facing north, so they must have come from the south. This is a matter of like what actual angle they came from. You know, like, mm. Maybe up here. Maybe it's up here anyway, and I'm just I don't know. Off base. Oh, this is def. Okay, this is definitely a place. I just yeah. So I guess these graves have uh, alchemy recipes. The venerable sage's stone is formed from two metal items and one liquid. Sage's stone, a metal one and a metal. Two. Well, that's not fucking helpful. Candy cats, those are very weak enemies. Why are they here? They're very cute, but like, why? Why, why are you here with these war griffins? You're, 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 fa you're falling in with a bad crowd. <laughs> I have no choice but to smite you with the rest of them. Healing essence, an enchanted essence, and a reflective guard combined to make a silver shield. The 
Golden Tier has an exquisite combination of glimmering gold and silver items. The meteorite will the meteorite will brace the falcon and make its blade even stronger. Something falcony and a meteorite bracer. So falcon blade and a meteorite bracer make like probably like super falcon blade or whatever. There's a chest around here with a shield. Oh, these bloody hands. Those damn bloody hands. Oh, you brought a friend. a single enemy with the f force of a what what oh my guess this is a good boss kind of fighting deal again for a boomerangs which is an interesting choice I gotta say can you stop calling friends I didn't know you had that many friends. Well, that's actually pretty cool. Shield. There's also like a big troll enemy up here. Among other things. Well, here's the shield. A ruinous shield. Oh, excuse, excuse me, sorry.
Big on! Eh, kablam! And I think there's some enemies up top No, we will probably fight as well. Oh, that's a... Hey, it's the same encounter table. I just think this one has this... Well, it's slightly altered. There's candy cats. <laughs> Which are not anything to really be worried about. Uh, that's a stuff. A lot of enemies. Every single one of the characters has a has a group hit, so that makes these enemies a lot less uh, intimidating. Yeah, the, the Grimbloids. <laughs> hello, Twitchy. Hello, hello. Yeah, the candy cats are pretty great. Dragon Quest has such great like monster designs in general. It's it's amazing. We are just doing some kind of like in-game kind of like exploration stuff. We got the ability to fly around the map, so we we're um, finding things. Which includes this area where these like enemies are. And, you know, let's just make sure this thing's fucking dead. It's... Well, that one's dead. Well, I guess one of these little hands is getting nuked from orbit. <laughs> Yeah, nice. <laughs> I, Final Fantasy is certainly a little more uh, pro popular in the States, but I've always liked Dragon Quest a fair bit more. It's, it's got a lot more character to it. But now they're owned by the same fucking company, so it, barely, it doesn't, uh, doesn't matter as much, but... Yeah, I play a lot. Oh, hello. Uh, this <laughs> yeah. Woo! That's not very nice. Rude. Rude ass Troy. <laughs> Literally. This <laughs> Troy's like, surprise, bonk! <laughs> hello, Aku. We are doing. We are flying around the map and fighting stuff. Basically, this entire stream is just flying around, getting treasure and stuff for the end game. Uh, okay, well, a giga throw, go. Um, full heal on yourself because you kind of need to. Uh, and uh, a frizzle. <clears throat> <laughs> that is shit I love with Dragon Quest. Dude's just like trying to swing his hammer, it's too heavy, he just falls over. <laughs> I 
fucking love that. Like, a lot. That's so ridiculous. Alright, well, that's a uh, multi-shot and more of that. <laughs> Dude's got, gonna have, certainly gonna have a lot of him HP. So we're gonna just throw all we got at him. Jesus Christ, dude. How much HP do you have? Okay, he act still swings pretty hard when he does swing. Bop! Thankfully, Angus is, a, is built like a brick shit house, so it doesn't really matter. God damn! There you go! Holy shit, that one took a while. A uh, gold monster coin. I don't know if that was even really worth worth it. Uh, was, is there another enemy up here somewhere to fight? I don't know. Um. We're a little dinged up, so we're gonna leave. I got the stuff that was here. Uh, let's see. I guess I don't know where the stonemason monster is. We already did the stuff at Lord High Priest's residence because I was kind of flying around being bored. So now we're gonna go to the last town in the game. Flying a little burb. You can only reach this town with the Godbird Soulstone, which is how we fly around. Whee! Okay, that's Mela Abbey. Oh, yep, I see where it's supposed to be. I think it's right down here. Um, it is, but I was going the wrong way. <laughs> well, let's see what lives here. Oh, hello. Buffalo, Buffalo, <laughs> Buffalo, girl. Okay, interesting. I haven't seen this monster design before. Oh, they're not, they're not grouped up. They're kind of just separate. Eh, that's a little annoying. Oh well. They have very tiny eyes. I could be mistaken for like their snouts. But those are those are very tiny eyes. <laughs> they go they scamper at you, I love that. Alright, uh, they're not that dangerous, at least. I say that, but my characters are fairly overpowered just because of all like the like party wide uh, attacks I have. Uh, you know, I... just make sure we have full HP before we get to town. Oh yeah, friendly monsters live here. Oh my god, they voice acted this one. <laughs> you! Human, are you? This is Try and Dolly. <laughs> Welcome! <laughs> <laughs> Me too, bitch. That's how I sound. Oh. I, I think a monster just spoke to me. Go, blood! 
No. I'm fed up with saying that old line now. Cool, but, uh. Then you there, uh, you're a monster, uh, but you don't fight or run away. What business do you have being so welcoming? Explain yourself. Here in Triton Gully, humans and elves and me. Monsters all live happily together. Elves, huh? I don't think I've seen a single damn elf in this game other than maybe the, the dude from the underworld. So, why would I run away when I see a human? <laughs> I... I... Well, I never. I had no idea such a place existed. Of course. You know what this means. I can wander about without causing a stir. It's a veritable paradise. Well, what are we waiting for? Come on, follow me. Yeah, that that's right, King Cho. Go Naruto run to town. <laughs> uh. Follow me. Yeah, the, the voices are amazing. Hello, 3Gs. Good morning. <laughs> I also sound like that, to be completely honest. If I, especially if I'm like... Having a very good time with something, I just like go. <laughs> Let's see, anything up here? Oh, oh, we're actually just his character now, cause he can be out and about. So he's just like really excited to Naruto run everywhere. <laughs> oh, it's a bunny! Hello, bunny, bunny corn. Poor Raya cried her eyes out when she heard David was dead. He was an heir to the great sage Koopas, you know, but we'll never see him again. It's so sad. Oh yeah, this would this would this definitely would be the place where that sage would live. If the Lord of Darkness manages to escape the seal, every living thing on earth will either be destroyed or turned into a shadow. Humans, monsters, and elves. We cannot allow Raptor to return. We must all work together now, not fight each other. Hello, big tree. Ah, <coughs> ah a new face, and an old looking one to boot. <laughs> I can't do creak noises in my voice when I saw. Uh, my voice just dis gets destroyed <laughs> instantly. What's in here? Oh, got an Naruto run around the brazier. <laughs> what have we got? Well, we have a Draki, a very friend shaped. I'm Drang. I carved the picture of the Draki at the entrance of the gully. It's not bad, is it? Even if I do say so myself. Well, aren't you handsome? Hello, big dude. It was many, many years ago now that Koopas helped Raya and I. I can't even remember exactly when it was. It was so long ago. I'll never forget the debt of gratitude I owe him. As long as I live, I'll do everything I possibly can for Koopas and his heirs. If you want to experience Koopas' compassion for yourself, take a good look at the picture at the back of the room. Okay, that's like a... A potion thing from, like, Ocarina time. And who are you? I am an elf. My name is Raya. You know, there used to be a young man called David who lived here in the valley. He went off on his travels never to return. He was murdered, you see. Oh, it was that dude that the dog killed. <laughs> that's a that's a sentence I have to say. <laughs> murdered before he could learn the truth about his ancestors, that he was the heir to a great sage. I tell you only this because, well, it's very strange, but I can sense David's pres presence within you. Did you perhaps encounter each other somewhere along your journey? You were at David's side during his final moments, and surely it cannot be a coincidence that you're here now. You witnessed the dying moments of the heir to a great sage, and now you're visiting his home here in Tryon Gully. Must mean something. I'm afraid I must ask you a favor. I have no one else to turn to now. Raptor in the Lord of Darkness is close to reawaken, but he can still be stopped. And you are the only ones who must stop him. If he returns, our world will be enveloped by darkness in the blink of an eye. For hundreds of years, we have cherished but one dream, that Raptor will never be allowed to re resume his reign of terror. We will help, because we're already Thank doing you. that anyway. No doubt, it is the guidance of Koopas that has brought you here. The only way to stop the revival of the Lord of Darkness, Rapthorn, is to seal away the scepter that contains him once more. Please, let us do what little we can to assist you. Drang, <clears throat> would you come here? Oh, right away! Oh my god, your voice is goofy too, I love it. I want these people to have Koopas' great treasure. Would you go and let the gardener... It's like they made a King Trode's voice actor just kind of like, have like, COVID for a second. 
Oh, right away! <laughs> or just sound different, I don't know. They sound they sound similar. As you just heard, I wish to give you something from our Gully's treasure chamber. It's called the Dark Tree Leaf. And it belonged to Koopas. It's the leaf from a giant tree that exists in the world of darkness. People say that if you place it on a map, it will instantly show you the location of a great evil. The fate of the world is in your hands. We're all depending on you. I've got a feeling that doing this will lead towards like the end in the game. Um, did we get it, or did the? Is there somewhere else we gotta go? We didn't get it, did we? No, we have this other stuff. Hmm. No, I guess the seventh sage was Aegeus, a holy child. A prophet at just six years old. He first sensed the threat of the Lord of Darkness. Another was Regnar, who returned from the afterlife. He knew the goddess better than any other, and it was he who named the godbird Empyria. Then there was Kadan, the great scholar. His wisdom was second to none, and it was said that he knew all there was to know in this wide world. Another was Golding. The warrior, his might was without equal, and friends and foes alike claimed that fortune rode with him in his battle. That's why, he, that's why his descendants op descended opened the casino. Then there was Alexander, the magical swordsman. His prodigious skills extended far beyond the battlefield, as he was also a talented sculptor. Then there was Master Gozo, the sorcerer. To him, ancient tomes of magic unclasped their secrets, granting the use of their most potent spells. And finally, there was I, Kupus, the magician. Together, we use our lives as the key to, to lock the Lord Dragon's soul inside the scepter. As long as their descendants live on, Rapthorn's body and soul can never escape from their prisons. The Lord of Darkness' body is sealed within a large rock in the center of the world. I have been told that Alexander turned the rock into a statue to prevent unwary men from interfering with it. Oh. Well, I mean, I guess it makes sense for a sculptor to do. Let's 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 look around this town some more because it's pretty. It's a pretty town. They they also have a pub, so we should probably check in there. <laughs> Oh, it's Ellipsy. Oh, you're a fine looking specimen, aren't you? How about a kiss? Slow down, I was only joking. Oh, men are all the same. What if I tell you no? Let me guess, there's no winning with you, huh? Oh Christ, whatever. <laughs> Raptorm is the Lord of Darkness, ruler of the world of darkness, but for all of his might, he cannot control his lustful power. He came here to the world of light thinking he could reign over that too, but he was stopped by the seven great sages. They sealed him away in a huge rock somewhere in our world. Hello, barkeep. What's this? A new face? Now that you've come all this way, it's simply one to do to miss out on Triangoli's most famous drink. It's called a dry gigantini. <laughs> sure. This is a dry gigantini. Gigantini. Agitated, not distressed. Why don't you give it a try, sir? Agitated, not distressed. Ha 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 ha! You read me like a book, my good man. This is just what I was looking for. <clears throat> oh, goodness! Well, well, well. I am impressed. This is delicious. Thank you, sir. You flatter me. Perhaps while you enjoy your drink, I could entertain you with a tale of Triangoli. As you wish, my good man. This drink is more than enough entertainment for me. <laughs> you are too kind, but please. King Trud's about to get white girl wasted. <laughs> it all started long ago, many hundreds of years past. The great sage Kupas was out walking one day when he found an elf and a gigant lying injured in the road. Hating to see any creature suffer, he tended to their wounds and he saved their lives. 
Amazed that a human should show them such kindness, they pledged their allegiance to Kupas. And from that day forth, the three of them were inseparable. But the lifespan of humans, elves, and monsters is very different. After many years, Kupas passed on into the great beyond. Determined to honor his dying wish, the elf and the gigant established a settlement here in the gully. And ever since then, humans, elves, and monsters have lived here side by side in peace, never forgetting Kupas' wish. That no one should ever be allowed to forget how Rapthorn had terrorized the world. So, that's why the inhabitants of this valley are always sure to tell travelers about the terror of the Lord of Darkness. Well, well, that's quite a tale. Very interesting, I'm sure. But this drink is absolutely fascinating. Hmm. Well, that was delicious. It was worth venturing this far into the forest just for that alone. Thank you for your custom, sir. I wish you a pleasant journey. Nice. And now I destroy your barrels. Oh, he picks. Ooh, a slime crown. Interesting. He picks them up weird. I love. I love that. I'm gonna throw all these directly at you because you're just not very pleasant. Oh well. All right. Oh, well, hello there, little friend. Welcome to the gold bank. You don't currently have any gold on deposit. Well, I don't need any deposit any currently. We're probably about to spend all of it, honestly. Alright, we got an item shop, an armor shop, and a weapon shop, and... This big lad. Everyone here in Triangoli hid the fact that David was an heir to one of the great sages. R Raya swore us to secrecy. She said he should only be told once he was old enough to understand. And now this has happened. It's terrible. And then, and then, with the human person. Nice. What do you sell? Oh, you're selling good things, aren't you? Yeah, like I was saying, we're, we... <clears throat> a mysterious shield that occasionally reflects a spell cast on the wearer back at the caster. <clears throat> and then there's armor that does that, too. Which, uh... So expensive. Really good things. Like, really, really good things here. Like, if there's one I should buy, it's probably this for, uh, Jessica, because it's a pretty big boost in defense. That and the mirror armor, it's just, that's just really, really good. And that's very potent too. Uh, well, we do have some stuff we we'll probably sell. Let's, let's check it out. Let's see. I probably want to hold on to that. Mm, I can probably get rid of the, the swallowtail. Sell that's not much, but it's just kind of get it out of our bag a little bit. Kind of apprehensive of selling some of this stuff that I have because it's like quite uh, uncommon. Like, there might, be, there might, like, might not be another copy of it in the game that's e as easily accessible as what, me just having it already. Like, this Templar sword, I don't know if it's useful, but we can't get another one, I don't think, so. Like, Saint's Ashes? Yeah, those are probably not easy to get either. 
Oh, uh, well, never mind, we're not selling that. <laughs> uh, let's look at the other shops before I just spend all my money. I think I have a King's Axe already. Blizzard Blade. Great Bow. Wow. That's tempting. Heavy Hatchet. It's worse than what I have. That's okay. A staff that look, gives us zing. Very expensive, but probably worth the price if I could afford it. Items. You... Do you sell what I think you sell? You fucking do. You sell magic water. Now I don't have to go to the casino for it anymore. Um, let's explore the rest of the town. Because maybe there's like more of it to explore that I haven't been to yet. Maybe there's more things to talk to. Oh, here's the thing. Here's, here's the guy. Or right, last hope. Take whatever you need from here. Oh, <laughs> it's just... He's just hanging out with the other treasure chests. <laughs> The god burned Empyria and the seven human sages had to use all their might to seal away Rapthorn. If he were to return, it would be impossible to destroy him. Yes, he stopped now before it is too late. Well, uh, you said I could take anything I want. I will, uh, take your word for it. Oh, trying to hide a barrel from me, you sneaky box. Okay, there's nothing in it. What are you, Mr. Uh, oh, well, Mr. Uh, Bombcrag? They say somewhere in the world there's a castle built by Rapthorn. But people have looked all over for it and have never found it. It's a bit strange. It's probably, like, hidden until he, like, is alive in the world or something, I would imagine. Staff of Anti-Magic, okay. It's pretty cool, and this should be the leaf thing. Darkness leaf and places it in the bag. It's like an Idrisal leaf, but from hell. <laughs> oh, okay. I had to specifically come down here to get this. This is this wasn't, I thought this was like linked up to the church or something, but no, this is uh very specifically had to come down here for this. That's okay. I'm glad I stumbled down here then. You see that dude just hopping up there still, just wee having a good time. Okay, there's that. Ah, oh, the small child here. When I was little, I nearly fell down to the bottom of the gully. I did, it's true. My friend swooped down and saved me. He caught me when I was, as I was falling. He's a Draki, you know. You're a monster too. Monsters are cool. Yeah, they are. See anyone else or anything else to deal with here? Does not appear to be the case. Um, well, let's see. Let me see what this where this walkthrough goes through. Next, you know what else is cool? <laughs> Your face. <clears throat> me. <laughs> We are in chapter 10 of this uh, walkthrough. So chapter 11, let's click that and we'll see if there's anything else I can do before... Uh...
let's see. Okay, yeah, we're gonna just uh, focus on trying to um, get some goodies with alchemy for the rest of the stream, because the next part after this is gonna be the beginning of like in-game stuff. Like we find like the dog and get ready to do like. Yeah, like, there'll be, like, basically, like, one dungeon, like, a few bot, like, some bosses, and, yeah, so, let me see. Let's see. <clears throat> mm. Okay, that one needs mirror shield, white shield, holy water. Mirror shield sold in Triangoli, white shields with the alchemy, two fresh smokes and a light shield. Hmm. Let's see. See, of, the, uh, of these things that they have here, the one I'm interested in would be the Odin's bow, which is weird. Odin doesn't use a bow. Anyway, uh, <laughs> let's see. Chiron's bow, which I have on uh, Angelo. This is that. Um, an arrow's bow made with a garter and a hunter's bow. Um... Can't remember which store sold um, Hunter's Bow, but I know one of them does. Oh, thank fuck, we can actually fly back here directly. We'll, we'll, we'll check out various stores, see if we can find the Hunter's Bow. If I can buy a Hunter's Bow, I can use. I have a garter that I got earlier in the game that's been kind of sitting around in my uh, bag. Yeah, this is basically like end game preparations. <clears throat> oh, you you're a lot. Oh, you're an item shop, duh. Oh yeah, this is the armor shop during the day. And at night, it's a weapons shop. So 
So we gotta, we gotta sleep till nighttime. To access the weapon shop to see if this is where that sells the hunter's bow. I can't remember what weapon shop sells it, but I know one does. Yeah, this walkthrough I'm looking at has like some select like suggested um, alchemy recipes to do based off of stuff that's sold in um, Tyron Goli. Like that great bow that was I was eyeballing that was that was sold there. Um, that also um, is a part of the alchemy recipe for this bow I'm looking at. That's like the strongest bow in the game. Okay, this was not the shop that sold the hunter's bow. So, on that note, we will, um... We will go to a different shop. I, mean, I can probably just look it up. Purchased and pick them. Alright, cool. I'm glad I looked that up instead of going to every single town. That would have been that would have been that's something I would have absolutely done. 100 percent So I'm glad I decided to uh, not do that. Excuse me, pupper. Did I ever go in here? In these buildings? Probably not. Nothing super good in here, but hey, it's not nothing. Oh, well, so that's what that door is. I don't know if I ever went in that door either. <laughs> yeah, I gotta turn it to daytime and then I can buy the hunter's bow. Hunter's bow. Can't use that as in the alchemy pot. It's interesting. It's cool that they look like you're just like, no, don't do don't waste your time with this one. Okay. Start cooking.
Hmm. Let's see. Play is in the air. <laughs> I have, to be, I have to be careful to, um... I have to be cautious of, um... Searching for the PS2 version when searching for, um... You know... I'm searching for Dragon Quest VIII PS2, and I'm still just getting um, results for like yeah, like like the results keep giving me stuff from uh, need a little bit of money to get stuff so we're gonna go fight gold golems I guess place early I was here earlier and I was like oh gold golems cool well let's whistle see what we find not you oh I can actually run from those all right I was expecting to get screwed over like I always seem to get screwed over when I'm trying to run from stuff Can 
I just like flee? I can. All right. Can I flee from you? No, not quite. That's a weird angle. Stop being horny, cat. Stop it. <laughs> there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Should have done a, tried a little harder to make this a one-run fight, but nah, whatever. I still way faster money in the beginning otherwise. Especially if you give me more stuff too. All right. Oh, I was gonna say, well, I could probably just run from these guys, but I might still be able to. <clears throat> Just sit here and can I run from you? Yep. <laughs> Hit the bricks. Oh, come on, really? What are you gonna do? Slap me? He might. So now we probably kind of have to fight it. Fine, I'll put in some effort. Sigh. some effort though K Golda for basically doing nothing. This is almost certainly the, probably the, one of the best places to gold grind in this game at this point. Alright, we're not going to be able to run from all these. Uh.
Oh, jeez. Well. Sorry, Candy Cats. Oh, sorry, all of you. Jesus Christ, Angelo. I'm partially also waiting for the alchemy pot to be done because that we need the uh, the the Eros's bow for the to craft the thing in the first place. Because you need the Chiron's bow, and the Eros's bow. Let me look back at this thing, and the great bow that is sold at uh, Tryon Nagoli. What am I doing? Ah, oh, god damn it. At this point, it would have been faster to, um, just fight them in the first place. Really? Why? Was that necessary? <laughs> this is such an amazing soundtrack. Eleven, yeah. This, this game's soundtrack is good. The composer of it was not good, but he's dead now, so we can just enjoy it. Uh, yeah, we're just trying to fight these enemies and get them to go away, because... Yeah. Uh, let's do a, a multi heal. Alright. We want this alchemy pot to finish, so we gotta kinda like wander around a little bit instead of using whistle all the time. That'd be cool if we could finish making this bow before the end of the stream. It'd be one less thing to do next stream before we start doing end game stuff. Or true end game, like end end game, like final boss kind of stuff. Because we're like kind of that, like. That, that honeymoon period before the final boss where you like, you know, all like the prep stuff or whatever. Uh, let's see. Eh, kiss swoosh. Eh, kiss sizzle, sure. Oh, all right. And cool, I guess. Yeah, like, like the the pre-final boss, like just ass groove of just do all your prep stuff before the final boss, or you're probably not gonna be able to do it after. And that's kind of where we are. And I'm up here because there's these gold golems that can spawn up here that. Give me a good amount of money when I kill them, so I might if I'm gonna be killing stuff like okay, here they are. Case in point, if I'm gonna be killing stuff, I right now I just kinda need money anyway. To buy some of the stuff I wanna buy. Kaboom and the stains are gone! I got him. Uh, we'll do a multi heal just because that that bird's kind of spit fire on me. The bird's spitting fire. 
<laughs> We're just kind of wandering around because in this Dragon Quest, the Alchemy Pot takes a while to do stuff and you can only do one thing at a time, so it's kind of bad. Because I think this might have been the first Dragon Quest that had uh, the Alchemy system in it. So this is kind of very uh, rough. Oh boy, a lot of birds. I, lo I love that. Uh, super throw, we'll do this again, and more kaboom! Oh, the kaboom won't affect the purple dudes, so we'll do ka we'll do ka crackle. Oh yeah, it doesn't affect those guys either, whatever. Um, uh, sure. Nice. <laughs> One MP. You know what? Cool, whatever. Fuck's sakes. I was hoping that this alchemy uh, recipe would, would be done before the end of the stream. So that we could start the other recipe to make the Odin's bow. But it might not it might take a little longer than what we've got left time-wise. Rude! Stinky little hand is smacking me. And the counters up here. All right, XP. If I want XP, I'll go elsewhere. Because <clears throat> there are much better places for XP if that's what you're after than up here. I'm only up here for the gold golems because they give them probably some of the best money in the game from an enemy. And I gotta wait anyway for this alchemy pot, so I figured I might as well combine the two. Oh wow, that's the most I've seen like ever. Well, let's <laughs> let's get let's get that fucking paint. Let's get that bread. Let's fucking go. Let's acquire. Let's buy that rye. To 16 XP and 2900 gold. That's why I'm here, is those guys. There's another place that spawns them that has a lot less uh, dangerous enemies, but I mean, they seem to be more common up here anyway than the other place, so I'm not really that bothered by the enemies at this point. Especially when there's candy cats, because those are like much earlier in the game enemies that are just kind of up here for some reason. Don't really know why.
Oh, that, that hand was just still just sitting there. Oh, you. How did everyone go before Jessica? She's the second fastest person in the party and she moved last. You know what? Whatever. Speed's just a suggestion in Dragon Quest, I guess. Ugh, whatever. Weird ass. Alright, we're doing a few more battles. Unless the Akum Putt finishes and then we'll just leave. Because it's about 11 and I gotta hop off here and do lunch and stuff with my roommate as usual. It's a daily thing during the weekdays because we are both neurodivergent people with different levels of energy and needs and such, so. Can we just run? Okay, yeah, we can just run from that one. So we try to we, we try to help each other out as much as we can and doing meal stuff together is one of those things, one of our survival strategies. Sure. Is it not done yet? Fine. God. Is it done yet? If I complain some more, it'll just finish. <laughs> Don't waggle your little stinky finger at me. It's like doing the Sonic the Hedgehog finger waggle shit. No. These things normally like call help more often. Sometimes they bring ham more hams. Sometimes they bring bird. And sometimes they bring big statues. There's only one left. <laughs> That's the main food groups. You got hands, you got birds, and you got statues. <laughs> oh, level up for Angus. Nice. Level 38. 10 HP, 5 MP. He maxed out axes. Now, the rest are going into humanity. Axe skills improvement becomes an almighty axe the highest level attainable. Learns Typhius's Maul. Or, what the hell is that? Oh, a gold ring? Well, I mean, I guess that makes sense for a hand to have. Do I need a heal it? Ah, we're fine. I'll do, like, one more fight just so I can see what this Typhius's Maul thing is. Because I'll probably forget I have it next stream, because it's, like, a week away. Perfect, all right, uh, let's see. An ancient axe technique that works wonders on monsters of the beast family. I don't know if these count. We'll try it, but it's probably not gonna do anything use super useful. It's kind of a very specific thing. Hello, Chrono Triggers. Um, it is through a, uh, it is through a uh, Tiltify, so it is external. Best part about it is I don't see a single cent of it, so it's less for me to worry about forgetting to do. <laughs> uh, let's see, does this mean you're uh... oh, watching with the audio? Yeah, I just, I just noticed you had the, the, the no audio thing, which is fine. I'll just type it out. Not a big deal. So the type of small thing is, um, it might be getting its actual next boss because it might be considered a beast. I don't know. 
Just need these birds to go away. No worries. I wasn't I, I wasn't sure if he had audio on or not, so I just typed it out. Not a big deal. I, I have I have fingers, but despite what it looks like, I, I can type. <laughs> uh well, enough of this. We're gonna go um Oh, thank you. Appreciate that very much. Uh, let me see. It's very kind of you. For now, we're just gonna zoom back to Triangoli. We'll buy the bow. Awesome. Yeah, I try to I try to do charity stream stuff with uh, my, the stream team I'm part of, which is full of uh, a bunch of LGBTQ folks, myself included. So we tend to do stuff like minus for the LGBTQ uh, Freedom Fund. Yeah, of course. Thank you. Uh, well, let's go down. No, that's the just so, just the church. Oh yeah, we're King Naruto running over here. So we're gonna we'll go buy the bow that we need for the recipe that I'm still uh, working on. We'll just buy that bow now, so I don't forget to. Otherwise, I'll just forget about it and not do it. A great bow. Which by itself is a big improvement for Angelo, but that's not that's not its final form. It's gonna be combined with Angelo's current bow, and when the Eros's bow is done, <laughs> we'll be uh, combining that them all together. Nice and cheap for the end too. That's pretty sweet. All right. All right, let's Naruto run our asses upstairs. <laughs> thank you, thank you. I'll be in the stream like after I save now, cause it's a, it's a little past eleven, and I gotta go do lunch with my roommate and stuff. But thank you for stopping in. Thank you for your kind words. I really appreciate it. Uh, let's go to this Jesus this this Jesus facility. Uh, of course, they have a fucking little demon being the little the little save person. That's adorable. This church belongs to the goddess and to me. What do you want? <laughs> okay, it's probably my favorite church. Confess thy sins before the great imp. Or eep, I mean, benevolent goddess. That way I can record your deeds in an adventure log, okay? I like how they give him a lisp just because, like, his tongue is so big. Yeah, thanks for being here, Nakora. I always appreciate your your company, and of course everyone else, especially those that are lurking. Cause yeah, lurkers are great. Appreciate y'all all the same. I, re I recorded your journey, your adventure log. Do you do you still want to continue adventuring now? Do ya? So be it. Go on then. Rest. <laughs> See if I care. <laughs> Passive aggressive little blighter, huh? All right, so that's the need of our stream for today. Let me pull up the thingy here. All right, so that's today's stream. Thank y'all so much for coming by and spending some time with me and chatting up with me. I appreciate the company. Uh, tomorrow we'll be continuing more Tales of Arise. We're actually in, in we're well, we're technically not in space. We're on another planet right now, <laughs> so. We did go into space though with our uh, our freaking ancient aliens ass spaceship that we freaking repaired, <laughs> but yeah, that'll be tomorrow. I'm still fundraising then as well, but uh, yeah, that'll be tomorrow's stream. will start at eight, like all my streams do, and yeah, that's gonna be today's stream. Let me see if I can drop a raid on someone real fast. See who's on. See who's live. I can. I have a feeling I know one person that's live. Okay, you are live. That's who I was thinking. Uh, you are live. Uh, you, you, okay. As per usual during the weekdays, we're going to be raiding into our our good friend, a Diddy Dragon. He play. He's a big path, big into Pathologic and then doing a lot of stuff in Blender for it. So it's kind of like a Pathologic's like a kind of oldish school like game about like. This, like, mystery plague, which is very fitting for these times. 
<laughs> times, of course. Well, it's not really Mystery Plague anymore, but in our life. But yeah, so I'm going to be ending my stream. We'll be dropping in and seeing a Digi Dragon 7. Say hi, say hi for me when you get there. I will be as well, but yeah. If I don't see you there, I'll see you next time, whether that's tomorrow or in the future. Either way, y'all have a great day.